From LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is the Midday Report on LA Late. It's a big, big noon time here on LLA with incredible great news across the board on your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. In this recording, we go over all the incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check, which is heading to the finish line. The monthly stimulus check that will give you the biggest payout you've ever seen in the history of this channel. Two step, two bill, two months process to get this stimulus check to the finish line. We go over all the incredible great news. Then in the second half of this recording, we go over what happened this morning and why it's making a big push for fist stimulus. Then we'll also turn to the big money landing today, landing this week, thousands of dollars that's coming back from the federal government, coming back to the states. It's confirmed and it's landing this week and I'm really excited for you to get it. There's so much happening. Let's get to the breaking news, starting right this minute, starting right this moment and starting right now on Noontime LLA. Hey, good noon time, everybody. It's LLA, and I hope you're having, having a breezy, easy day. And guess what? It's incredible great news about the land and the fourth stimulus check. In this recording, we go over the fourth stimulus check of 2021 today. The incredible great news that the stimulus check lands in July and pays a month after that. Every month continuing, we go over all the incredible great details, how much you're going to get, when you're going to get it, who's going to get it, all those details and more. Then in the second half of this recording, we go over the fifth stimulus package that will change your life. It will change your life because it will increase your SSI, SSDI, Social Security and Railroad benefits and veterans benefits across the land. We'll have all those details and more. And then in the middle of this recording, we go over the incredible money, incredible money that's coming from the states and the government and the federal government and it's landing today thousands of dollars coming to you i'm really excited to you for you let's get to the breaking news but first if you've not subscribed subscribe this very moment this is ella light the only 24 hours a day seven days a week financial news channel no channel like this from wall street to main street from my home to your home financial news stimulus news crypto news i cover it all so make sure you subscribe and become part of this family also, like this video, two, 3,000 likes. It really helps in the algorithm rankings and consider becoming a member. The link's at the top of the chat for a membership and also in the pinned comment. Let's get to the breaking news right off the bat. Two fourth stimulus proposals on the books, one for the, the, the senators and one for the House. Let's compare and contrast starting right now. If you're in the live chat, get ready to write Senate or House. I want to hear your comment. But first, let's hear the details. The House proposal would provide a stimulus check for the remainder of pandemic plus one year, but the amount may not be the amount you may want to see. So let's go over and compare and contrast the House and Senate proposals. First, the House proposal provides a stimulus check for a certain duration. That duration is the remainder of the pandemic plus one year. So let's say there's four more months left to the pandemic. You would get four months of stimulus checks plus one year of checks. That would be 16 months of checks. But if you look at the Senate plan, less checks across the board. It would be from July to December. Well, before you vote House or Senate, let's look at the monthly amount. Here we go. House proposes $2,000 after the first, excuse me, $2,000 the first month, then $1,000 thereafter. But the senators propose to come in and dwarf that number with reportedly this. OMG, this is a big payout, folks. Word on the street is the senators want to pay you $2,000 a month from July to December, $12,000 over those six months. This is per person. This is for you. Incredible, incredible news. Great news. Or $1,400 a month over six months, $8,400. Okay, if you're tuning into the live chat shortly after 1130 on the West Coast or 130 on the East Coast, drop in the comments, Senator House, Senator House, which one do you like? Which one do you like? Love to hear your comments. And let's go over all the details now about that four stimulus check update of 2021. First detail is who gets it, when you get it, and how you get it. Let's go over all those details. First, 
You get it if you got the third stimulus check. So congratulations. You get if you are you get the fourth stimulus check if you are on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits. You get the fourth stimulus check if you make less than seventy five thousand dollars a single individual, and you get the stimulus check. You're a married couple, one hundred fifty thousand or less. You just double it. And finally, a household of four or less, you get the stimulus checks, just quadruple the stimulus checks. Is the amount of the check the same for the adult dependent as the minor dependent? It is the same amount across the board. Everyone gets the same value of check. Minor dependents, adult dependents, everyone else. Is it income? No, it's not a taxable event. When would you get the check? I'm a reporter. I'm not a legislator. I only report what they're representing. I'm not rep making the representations. They are. They represent the vote will be in July out the door in July. So congratulations, you would get the first check in July for the month of July, then in August for the month of August. Incredible great news. This is a two-bill, two-step, two-month process. It's called for stimulus. It goes by reconciliation. It started the reconciliation. The subcommittees are already working on the language of the bill, and away we go. Shortly, I'm going to go over the breaking news that went on just right this morning, still going on right now, for the President of the United States that impacts the four stimulus package, not the four stimulus check per se, but the whole package. I'll be going over all those details in just a second. Then I'll also be going over what the President said yesterday, Friday, and will likely again say it today, and why that's incredible great news for four stimulus check. And then I'll also be going over why he made a deal for that four stimulus check behind the scenes with the Democrats. I'll have that deal making. It's incredible great news. But I want to give you a preview of what's coming up in the second half of this recording. Yes, this is a 30-minute jam-packed recording. So get that pen and paper ready because I'm giving you thousands of dollars in this recording across the whole 30 minutes. So stay with me to the very end. There is money in the front, money in the middle, and money in the back. Here's a preview of the backside. The preview of the backside is that fifth stimulus coming this September will provide SSI reform. It is incredible great news. What you need to know is that fifth stimulus this fall follows the same path as fourth stimulus right now, a two-bill, two-month, two-step process starting September and out the door in November. It's absolutely incredible. It will change your life, increase your benefits if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, survivor benefits. How much? How much you're going to see? Stay with me. It's coming up in the second half of this recording. All right, let's now tune in to really what is going on right now, this very moment. It's just thousands of dollars. It's coming from the states. It's coming from the federal government. I'm going to explain to you which money is automatic. Yes, donut moments. You don't have to do anything. You just have that donut and watch it land in your account. Or I'll go over the tough love moments where I have to show you you got to do something because if you don't get it, you're not going to get the money ever. All right, so let's go over the donut and the tough love moments starting right now. First. First item is very exciting, and it is what I covered with you as a family back in January. It was the basis of the word Purple Hawk. It's when money lands, and it could cause a stimulus stampede, and it's first come, first serve, and they're not going to replenish it. What is it? Congratulations. My reporting was confirmed by the Undersecretary of the Treasury that $350 billion of rent, utilities, internet, Mortgage assistance and homeowners' utilities bills is landing today, last week, this week, and next week. Go get it. What are the items? First item, number one. Get that pen and paper ready. I hope you got it ready because I got a lot of stuff for you to take notes on. First is money for rent. This is four to six months of rent. It's about $5,000. Yes. What do you look for? What do you call it when you make the phone call? You're asking for rent assistance because of COVID. Rent assistance because of COVID. And you're asking for the rent that came from the federal government because the American Recovery Act, the Biden plan. So where do you call? Six places. Get that pen and paper ready. Let's do it. You're reaching out to your city hall, city housing authority, county hall, county housing authority, state hall, state housing authority. Six places. One no, go to the next one. Let's repeat them. City hall, city housing authority, county hall, county housing authority, state hall, and state housing authority. There you go. 46 months of rent, generally about $5,000. Next, you're going to reach out to the same places for mortgage assistance and also you homeowner's assistance. Go get it right now. What's important to understand is that in addition to that, you can also get SNAP. SNAP is categorically one of the game changers of this channel. It is now paying a family for, in Hawaii, this year, 16000 
$1,000 approximately. How does this happen? Because SNAP was increased 15% by the Biden six-month stimulus, by the Biden six-month executive order, and by the Trump six-month executive order. So now that family of four in Hawaii is seeing $16,000 over one year. And they can also go get rent assistance, $5,000. Look at this money. We're up to $21,000, and we're only 10 and a half minutes into this recording. Guess what? I got more money coming up for you. But first, a message right about that money. Tough love moment number one. Take note. If you need money for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, anything for your homeowner stuff, you need to get it right now. And I mean literally this minute. Why? Because it's not coming back under fourth stimulus. It's not coming back under fifth stimulus. There's no talk of it ever being mentioned again under any stimulus package for rent or utilities. This is the last hurrah. It will never be offered to you again under this COVID situation. Number two, the eviction moratorium and the mortgage forbearance will go away in September. So don't be surprised when they go away. The concept of them phasing it out, getting rid of them, is that they want you to get this money right now for rent and utilities. So get it right now. Purple Hawk, 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 get it right now. It is first come, first serve. All right, now we go to the big money, number one. That is automatic. Get that donut. Is it jelly? Is it glaze? Well, get that donut because you don't have to do anything for this one. Item number one, that the states are returning thousands of dollars back to you starting this week. What is this? The federal government has ordered state unemployment offices to return money back to you that you had returned back to them. What's at play? Marty Walsh, head of the Department of Labor, at the U.S. Department of Labor, ordered the states return money back to you that you return to them. What is this money? First, when are you going to get it? How are you going to get it? And what, are these, what is that issue? First, it's thousands of dollars. Second, it's coming from your state. Third, it would come by the way in which you receive your normal benefits from your state. Finally, what is it? If you were contacted by your state during this pandemic and, and they alerted you to the fact that they may be overpaid you unemployment benefits to no fault of your own, but because of a computer malfeasance and told you to return the money and you return the money, they have now been ordered by the federal government to return the money to you effective immediately. This is huge news. So thousands of dollars that you return back to your state are coming back to you. And yes, it's a donut moment. You don't have to do anything for it. Donut moment number two. Maybe this one is a, a, a chocolate eclair money coming from the federal government in the mailbox today, this week, or by direct deposit. First, let me explain what it's going to look like, the deposit. Let me explain where it's going to be, and let me explain who's getting it. All right, first, if you're a single tax filer, it's going to come in the mailbox if you do not have a direct deposit account on file with IRS. If you're a joint filer, husband and wife, it's coming at the end of the month. Either one of those two ways. In the mail, the check is going to be in a beige or white envelope with a beige check in there that says refund. All right, how much money are you getting? Thousands of dollars. You are getting an automatic refund this week of the amount you paid on taxes for your unemployment benefits from 2020. So here's an example. Let's pay, let's say you had $9,000 of unemployment benefits. Your total tax bill on the tax return you filed already showed $5,000 of taxes to the federal government, of which $4,000 was for federal taxes on unemployment. You're going to get those $4,000 back you paid to IRS for your unemployment benefits under $10,000. Congratulations. Donut moment. Put it up. Enjoy some coffee. You don't have to do anything. And with that donut moment, we now go into some tough love moments. Tough love moment number one. If you did take out for federal taxes while receiving unemployment benefits in 2020 and have not filed your 2020 tax return, you have to do it right now and request those benefits back. Number one, this is federal taxes. It has nothing to do with states. Number two, it's requested back from the federal government. Number three, how does it work? Here's an example. Let's say you took out $100 a week for federal taxes for your unemployment benefits over 10 weeks. That's $1,000. You have to file your 2020 tax return in the next few days requesting that money back if that's what happened to you from the federal government. There you go. All right, now let's go into those children. Boy, if you're a mom of a three-year-old, a four-year-old, and a two-year-old, but you've never filed taxes, would you roll the dice on $10,000 in cryptocurrency? Of course not. So would you roll the dice on filing a tax return on $10,000? Absolutely not. Tough love moment number one. 
So ten, the money for the children is coming in the month of July, but the ability to get the money for the children is literally the next few hours. It's literally the next few hours. The tax return, personal tax return 2020 deadline is just a few days away. And if you don't follow the advice about what I'm about to show you in the next few minutes, you're not going to get paid in July. The great news is that you're watching this video now. As a subscriber to this channel, you have, you're have you going to hear the information now, so you're not going to miss the deadline. I'm deeply worried about people who are watching other YouTube channels. They're going to come over in July, ask where the check is. They're not going to get the check, and my answer is going to be, you had to do this in May. It's too late in July, because it will be too late in July. So what's going on? The federal government will be paying $3,600 for children 5 to newborn and $3,000 for children 17 to 6 starting the month of July prorated over 12 months. If, if two things have occurred. One, you make less than $75,000. That's easy. Number two, they know the child exists. Bombshell, if they don't know the child exists, you're not getting a penny. So let's go over scenario number one. This is, this is tough love moment number one. It is the following. You never file tax returns ever, and the IRS has no way to know that that child exists because you haven't ever alerted them to the child. You have to file a tax return for 2020 immediately, listing that child or children on that tax return. Here's an example. Let's say you're on SSI and SSDI. You've never alerted IRS to the fact that you have a five, a four, and a three-year-old. And because of that, <laughs> I just hit the guard. And because of that, they don't know those children exist. So then what do you do? Here's what's going to happen. If you do not file a tax return and IRS has never been alerted to the existence of that five and four and three year old, come July, you know how much money you will get? Categorically, 100%, triple on the line, three exclamation points, zero. Zero. If you file the tax return in the next few days, you're going to get $3,600 times three, nearly $10,000. Don't risk it. Tough love number two is you are a parent of a child, but for any reason you have not listed that child on prior tax returns, the IRS doesn't know that's your child. So you need to file that 2020 tax return immediately because they don't know that child exists because the child hasn't been on a prior tax return, maybe was just born. And finally, scenario number three, tough love number three in the most rare situation is when you made a lot of money in 2019, listed that child, you're ineligible for the money because you made too much money in 2019, but in 2020, you didn't make a lot of money at all. And so now you're eligible for that child's money. You need to file the 2020 tax return. Which brings us up to the final most important message of tough love, which is the following. If you're missing a first stimulus check, a second stimulus check, a third stimulus check, or a children's check, or a person on the household stimulus check, you need to file that tax return and list it. If you had that pen and paper throughout this recording, you're like, I now have like three things I need to tell my tax preparer. Yes, go to the tax preparer with those lists of things. If you're watching the show live, watch it taped after it archives on the channel right after it's done and replay it back to that spot and make sure you got all those things checked off that you need to tell the tax preparer. If you have to get stimulus checks, get money back for IRS from unemployment, need to alert the IRS about those children, make all those things apparent on the tax return and get it done now. Here is a very big tough love moment. I am so happy that you're a subscriber to this channel. I am so happy you're tuning in. God bless you because you're getting this information now when it's due. But I deeply at the heart of my heart worry about people who are tuning in to other YouTubers who are giving false information. And when July rolls around, they're going to tune into that YouTuber and say, where is my check? And they say, eh, you know, it's automatic, you know. And then they're going to realize everyone else got it, but they didn't. Why? because they tuned into here and understood they had to do things. Tough love moments, you had to do things to get these stimulus checks. More importantly, this is what you also need to know. If you don't have to file a tax return because you are on SSI or SSDI normally, or you don't have to file a tax return normally because you don't make money, that's separate from what I'm discussing here. If you want money for these items, you categorically, 100%, without a doubt, have to file a tax return if the IRS doesn't know about these people or if these things need to be fixed, you will not get paid unless you file a tax return. I've had people say, I'm tweeting people, calling up IRS and talking on the phone. No, you have to file a tax return. And I actually had someone in the live chat on Mornings LA have a great comment to another viewer said, if you go to a tax preparer, they don't wanna do it, they give you wrong information, they don't wanna take care of it, immediately go to another tax preparer. Yes, because a timeline is ticking. 
And with that, guess what? I was also ticking. The second half of this recording, I have big money about the fourth stimulus still coming up in the second half of this recording. Big money that will change your life for fifth stimulus. It will literally change your life for fifth stimulus for incredible change to your benefits across the board a lifetime. It's coming up in the second half of this recording. Stay with me. I'll be back in 60 seconds. But first, here's a little bit about the community page. The community page is in the pinned comment to this video at news.la.com forward slash community. You can see it in the pinned comment. Also in the description to this video, it'll send you directly to the community page. They can help you with money for rent, utilities, and also SNAP and things like that. They cannot help you with tax questions. Stay with me, I'll be back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on Noontime LA with incredible great news across the board on your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. Your fifth stimulus check update of 2021 is coming up right now as well. And also, I have the big breaking news that's just happening about your fourth stimulus. How are you? This is Noontime LA, and this is LA. If you're new to this channel, this is the only 24 hours a day, seven days a week financial news channel from Wall Street to Main Street, from my home to your home, from crypto to stimulus, I cover it all. And I want you part of this family. So subscribe this very moment. Also like this video, two, 3,000 likes. It really helps in the algorithm ranking and consider becoming a member. The link's at the top of the chat in the pinned comment. For stimulus, House versus Senate, which do you like? Which do you like? Let's cut back to those monthly stimulus amounts and let's go over why the proposals are slightly different. The Senate plan proposes to give you more money over a shorter period of time to get you back to whole as quickly as possible. Whereas the House proposal is to give you more money over a cumulative longer duration, so to say keep you on benefits, but understanding that you need more mon need money longer out on the horizon. Which one do you like? Well, here's what you need to know is that today, Friday, and certainly all this week, there's been financial data that's been hitting that impacts your stimulus. Now, let's slow it down. Fourth stimulus check refers exactly to the checks that I just talked about. What's the incredible great news about it? Oh boy, it's really incredible great news. So let me go over the economic news about the checks first and then the economic news about the rest of the stimulus right after that. So the great news about the, about the checks per se is that buried upon all the news of the last few days was three words which came out of the president's mouth that almost no one covered. And those three words were corporate tax rate. The President of the United States said he would make a deal, and this is incredible great news, because remember, the fourth stimulus is a two-bill, two-month, two-step process, and the only issue, the only people he's speaking to are the Democrats, part of his party. They're doing the reconciliation process. They're currently writing the legislation. He said, for corporate tax rate, deal, deal, it's incredible. So what was it? The issue was that the corporate tax rate currently is 21%. He was up at 28% talking about foreign countries and all this stuff. And the moderate Democrats said, Mr. President, come down. Come down, Mr. President. Come down 25% around there. He said, deal. We're going to get it done. Oh, boy. This is incredible great news for your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. 
Then the incredible, also great news is that yesterday, Friday, and Monday, no less than four recordings from this president, the messaging was so perfect. It was Nirvana messaging. The president kept on coming out and saying, but you have to pass the fourth stimulus package, but you have to pass the fourth stimulus package. And because of this, you have to pass the fourth stimulus package. In a universe in which we have uh, violence in the Middle East between the, in the Gaza Strip, we have the colonial pipeline problem in New England. We have a lot of other issues going around the globe at the moment. The president's staying on message really well for forced stimulus. That's the incredible great news. All right, now that you understand the incredible great news about the fourth stimulus check, let me tell you the not good news for the remainder of fourth stimulus items. Not the check, but other items. At issue, you know what I'm about to say, FPUC, $300 a month. I had told you last week, folks, that FPUC, that $300 a month, is likely to be removed, gotten rid of, ended in states in which Republicans are governors of those states. And now nearly every day, I have another person tweet me, say, my Republican governor has ended FPUC in my state. Expect that to happen. That is the casualty of Friday's number, which showed that there were more jobs and less people getting back to work. And unemployment stimulus, not stimulus checks, but unemployment stimulus is going to be impacted by this number that was released minutes ago. The consumer price index number came in for the month of May, and it showed that spending is through the roof. It showed that, excuse me, that showed that consumer prices are through the roof. The consumer price index, which tracks how much things cost, came in at a 4.2% increase year to date compared to the pre-prediction of 3.6%. This was the highest inflationary rise of prices since 2018. The number was absolutely through the roof for food and energy going up nearly 20 to 30% for energy, 25% for energy, 37% for gasoline. And for cars and others, they were going up 21%. What does this mean? It does not impact your fourth stimulus check. Check. It does not impact your fourth stimulus check. But it does impact, impact fourth stimulus. Because ultimately what's at issue is if things cost a lot of money, then are people spending on the money or not? Also making news again today is the Colonial Pipeline. It is currently offline. People are not able to get gas in certain states. And if you were around or know your history very well of what happened in the Carter administration, you don't want to mess around with gas. You never want to have a problem with gas in this country for more than a day. And just minutes ago, someone from one of the major gas news channels went on the broadcast news and said, there's no shortage of gas in the southeast. It's hoarding. There's a surge of people trying to hoard, like the old Costco videos from 2020. They're trying to hoard gasoline in the southeast, and they can't get the gas out. It's so serious. Let's go over the numbers. In Metro Atlanta, 60% of stations without gas. Out of gas, 15% of stations, Georgia. It, missing gas, North Carolina, 24% of stations. South Carolina, 13%. Virginia, 15%. And average price of gasoline, $3 a gallon. If you're in the live chat, drop in the live chat right now. How much are you paying for gas? Don't ask me because Los Angeles is always expensive with gas. It's just, it's just yeah, we are a joke when it comes to the price of gas. Uh, but drop in the live chat how much you're paying for gas right now. And with that, let me cut to fifth stimulus. This is why you need fifth stimulus. Because of the SSI and SSIDI reform. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited for you. Let me go over the details of it right now. Who gets it and how you get it? Let's go over the details. First, who is it? It's you. It's if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, Survivor Benefits, all of you. And if you're on multiple benefits, all your benefits. First thing, they're going to raise your benefits up to a big new number. A big new number. They're going to give you a big new number going forward. Then they are going to remove the asset cap. The asset cap dates back to a very antiquated 1980s law that says some of you can't keep more than $3,000 on hand. They're going to get rid of that law. So as a result, if you have multiple stimulus checks in the bank, you can keep them there. Then they're going to remove a 1960s law that says you can't stay on you can't stay on benefits and also work. So if you want to work and make $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 a month, they'll determine the new number. You can go work if you want to and stay on benefits. 
The next one, which is critical, is they're going to tie your benefits to inflation. So you just saw a report about how the CPI, the Consumer Price Index number, show prices going through the roof. This is because of inflation. The Fed head out of St. Louis yesterday evening said that he expects a 2.4% inflationary rate this year. Don't worry, because they're going to tie your benefits to inflation. So as inflation goes up, your benefits go up. As inflation goes to the roof, your benefits will go through the roof. You will no longer have to be worried about being left behind. Amen. And finally, the marriage penalty going away. Going away. If you're suffering from the marriage penalty right now, it's going to go away. If you're facing the marriage penalty and have not gotten married, cannot consummate your love with a marriage ceremony because you are upset about the marriage penalty, now love will win and the marriage penalty will be gone. It's just absolutely wonderful news. And with that, let's go back to the fourth stimulus and compare that with fifth stimulus. When is fourth stimulus? Two bill, two month, two step process currently underway. Dean done in July. Checks will go out in July. A check every month for the month, starting the month of July. When is fifth stimulus? A two bill, two month, two step process where the impact would likely be around November in your pocketbook. Pocketbook. The uh, stimulus, a fourth, fifth stimulus would start in September. And then let's circle back. House versus Senate. House versus Senate. The reason why people vote on this channel for one versus the other is generally the following. When you're looking at the House plan, you sometimes like the House plan because it provides you more months of checks and that they're staggered over a longer duration. What I've seen in some of the comments, and I want to answer it right now, is do not worry about someone invalidating this from the midterm elections of 2022, because those would fall, that election and those people would not be sworn in soon enough to invalidate the any House proposal that goes out that far in time. People who like the Senate proposal like getting caught up sooner rather than later, because the debts are piling up. So they rather get a bigger cash infusion faster, starting right now. Remember these amounts for single individuals. Married couple, you double it. If you have a household of four or less, you get four times that stimulus checks. And there you go. In this recording, we started with four stimulus checks. The four stimulus check updated 2021. We went over who gets it, how you get it, when you get it, starting in the month of July. Then we went over the big money that's coming live this week, starting this week. Some donut moments, some tough love moments where you have to do some things. And it's thousands and thousands of dollars. Ultimately, I want you to get these things if you're eligible for it. Understand that when this channel was covering third stimulus in January, I told you that while you're going to get a $1,400 third stimulus check, you absolutely have to pounce as a purple hawk, 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 and get that five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars of rent, utilities, and other items when they go live. They're now finally going live. So do your thing, Purple Hawk, and pounce and get that money. And finally, we went over fifth stimulus that'll change people's lives forever. There's a lot of other items in the fifth stimulus, like hazard pay, like money for seniors, like more, uh, cheaper medicine. If you're a member of this channel, you get a daily printout of all the legislation at issue, including those provisions of the fifth stimulus, of which there's about 20. So if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. The link's at the top of the chat in the pinned comment. But at least subscribe. This is L8, and this afternoon I'm going to be back with you with Afternoons L8, Evenings L8, and then I'll be back with Crypto Afternoon afternoons or Crypto Evenings, in which we go the second update of what happened in the cryptocurrency markets today. There's been big movers, major news being made, announced just in the last few minutes. I'm going to have that great details this afternoon. Thank you for tuning in this morning. If you missed that show this morning, it's doing really good traffic, so watch that Top 10 Crypto Investments of 2021, 2021 right before this one. And then two more surprises tonight. Stay with me. Stay informed and stay focused. If you've not subscribed, subscribe. Like this video and stay positive, stay motivated, and always have a beautiful afternoon. I'll see you later this afternoon on Afternoons LOI.